The family who was pulled over by a police officer as they raced to a dying relative's bedside. The officer in Dallas is now apologizing for what he calls a serious error in judgment. I am sorry. I made a mistake. I used poor judgment. And that if I were in that situation again, I would take them inside, let them be with their mother, which is where they needed to be. And if I could take it back, I would. The first public comments from the police officer who stirred national outrage for the traffic stop he deeply regrets. In there. NFL running back Ryan Motes and his wife Get Tamisha have been rushing to a Dallas area hospital to see her dying mother. But Officer Robert Powell would not let Ryan Motes go inside. Do we have a problem? We don't have a problem. My mother-in-law is dying right now. Okay. I don't understand why you can't Okay, listen to me. If I can't verify you have insurance, I'm going to tow the car. Shut your mouth. There you go. Shut your mouth. You can cooperate and settle right, down, ahead, or I can just take go you ahead. to jail for running a red light. Well, when I got out, I thought if I explain it to him, maybe he will understand. Um, so I went to explain it to him, and, you know, I wasn't getting anywhere. Powell finally did let Moats go, but it was too late. His mother-in-law, Janetta Collinsworth, had died. The incident prompted an apology from the Dallas chief of police, who put Powell on paid administrative leave. He says he's been getting death threats. To say that I'm scared of being fired, is, I would say it's an understanding. I'm, I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. I have a family. I have two young children. The Moats family has already accepted Powell's written apology, but the 25-year-old officer says he's making arrangements to meet with them in person. Meantime, he says he does have a message for everyone else. And I hope that anybody watching this officer or not can see my mistake and know that, you know, hey, this is not the way to handle this kind of situation.